Hello everybody, let's see what kind of Eden awaits us today as we get back into Rebirth. Please be good. This is for all the marbles for our 10 streak. Not that that really matters. Ah, we've obviously had something that's given us HP. Oh, it's lard and it's not full. Yeah, it gives you empty hearts. Oh, I don't like those stats. Reasonable start though. Samson's Lock is a trinket, no consumables. N1GJSKWP. So we'll be, yeah, fairly fire, fairly fast fire rate. Piss poor damage per tier. No bombs, but it's good to know that's there. Oh, actually. Hmm. Okay. We have enough HP to start with that I was willing to risk that being a bad trip. So yeah, lard gives you two containers more, so we had two to start with. That sounds about right for Eden. But it only gives you a half heart to, to fill them with. I wonder if there's a, a reason behind that bomb. Uh, I don't know whether I want to take my chances with a second pill so soon. I'll wait and see what's in my item room. It, it could be PhD. Don't say it couldn't. It literally could be. The chances of it are astronomically low. 1 in 370-ish. Yes, I am aware I steered right into that enemy, but that's because physics don't work in this game. Given that I was hitting it downwards. But whatever. First floor, so it don't matter. I would rather like to get a heart. We'll just be spamming Book of Sin whenever we get it. If it drops a spirit heart though, maybe I should wait until the end of the floor. Thank you for the key. Heart? At all? No? Alright then. First item room is Gish. That's fine. If we actually fight Gish later on now, what does that mean he drops? Does he just then drop something generic? Haha! <laughs> I suddenly felt brave and I instantly regretted it. If I'd waited until I got hit one more time, then it might have been different. Okay, we're on one heart. Thanks to bad trip. I kind of called that, didn't I? Kind of. Bomb. I'm going to take that spare heart now just because I'm a little bit worried. Maybe I should have shot the fire first. Hmm, didn't get a heart anyway. Ah! Phew. It was stuck in the bloody rock. So that'll be our normal secret room, so the boss won't be this way, most likely. Thank you for that. We'll go to the Tinted Rock in a second, and we got a heart. Nice. Any Tinted Rock? Oh, there's a Tinted Rock in here. That is very rare. Alright, well, we've already taken one, so why the hell not? And before I forget, I'm going to go back to that other Tinted Rock, which was north of here. Yeah, small rock would be very, very nice. Not required, just nice. Well, we're going to spare heart for free because we got our bomb back. That's fine. Just want our boss now, really. Oh, why did I come in here? I could have skipped this, I think. Well, the secret is get them out of here. Get them out of the little bowling alley, alley of doom. I can't believe that little spider didn't die before touching me. That's pathetic. All right, that's good. Gish is handy. I actually think I might prefer the item that turns you into Gish. To the actual Gish familiar. Yeah, yeah, I think I do. This is passive damage though, with the slow effect on every one of his shots, so it has a fairly high proc rate. I'm not complaining, I just think of the two I prefer the other. Leaving the sticky trail and occasional slow in your shots. Not sure what I was wanting to do with that, there was nowhere to knock it. But we will be leaving the first floor with good red hearts, reasonable spirit hearts, an okay spacebar item, just just okay, at least it's a book out the rotation from the off, and whatever we get from our boss. And that's the second secret room right there, so the boss is nearby. The turn heart we'll just take because our HP is protected. Alright, we've got a little bit of a tanky run brewing here. Duke of Flies, uh, I pressed spacebar there, what the hell? Is this spacebar? No, not the spacebar, this keyboard. Well, the spacebar as well, but the keyboard in general. I, I just... I, what's that expression? Sunk cost fallacy? I have this thing where I think, well, I always end up ruining keyboards because I use them so much for what I do. You know, all the keys kind of start getting loose. All the crumbs of food I eat in front of the PC gets stuck in it. The, the lettering wears off on my fingers, you know, all this crap. So I think I'm going to wear them through anyway. So just buy cheap keyboards. Just keep on buying them because you go through them anyway. Never really considering that maybe if I got a better keyboard 
with protected keys, I wouldn't destroy it, or I wouldn't destroy it so quickly. So <laughs> I'm recording this on a day where Amazon's doing a, a special day of deals for if you have Prime and I have Prime. And I noticed that an upcoming deal in a couple of hours from now is a slightly fancy keyboard. You can definitely get fancier, but it's a fancy keyboard. And I was considering getting it purely because it might last longer than the cheap pieces of crap by Gigabyte that I get from a local supermarket every time I decide that I've ruined the keyboard by my... I mean, it's my own damn fault. Except for the, you know, the lettering coming off on your fingers. That's just something that happens on cheap keyboards because they use cheap plastic and cheap whatever it is that they do the keys with. So I'm considering, depending on what kind of deal goes on it, getting a fancy keyboard. I think it's a mechanical keyboard though and they're really loud so I'm not sure about that. There's also a stealth version but I think it's only the mechanical version that's going on the offer. I'm curious what the appeal is of an overly loud keyboard. What purpose? Do, do people just find the sound satisfying? Because I know I used to use a, a old fashioned typewriter a lot when I was a kid. And I actually found the, the clacking of the keys on an old typewriter fairly satisfying to, to hear. Very weird, I know, but maybe it's something to do with that. Or is there some kind of gaming advantage? I, I can't possibly imagine that there is. What almost put me off even considering it though is like on the page for the keyboard, it's like, this is endorsed by eSport person. And there's a picture of someone I don't know, kind of just cheering on a stage. We probably at one point got an email saying, would you like a free keyboard? If you say you like this keyboard, we'll give you it for free and maybe give you some money. Can we use one of your promo shots as well? Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with doing branding deals, it's just, you know, I've, I, the way it came across and the fact it was just using an, a stock photo and didn't really, didn't really seem necessary. It just felt to me like, oh, they just, they just whipped that up real, real quick. I don't know. Those kind of companies do. Uh, I was gonna say do spawn. What the hell? Sponsor. Piss off. Esports. I'm also keeping an eye on an Elgato 60. That's the Elgato that can actually do 60 frames because the one I have is artificially locked to only do 30. The thing that's putting me off doing that is, well, one, it's expensive even if it gets a massive discount, and the discount will be much better than like 60% at best. I should probably go to the item room before I forget it, right? I'm going to do the boss first though, I will remember, I swear I will remember. Also we we'll use I can see forever because we're going to search the floor. You haven't been to the item room, you haven't been to the secret rooms. Remember. Ah uh, yeah, so I was, the thing that's put me off the Elgato 60 is purely that very few console games can manage 60. So is there really any value added? Like of the recent console games I've done playthroughs of, Bloodborne was locked at 30. So no difference there. What else? Well, Portable Third is is Portable Third locked at thirty? Actually, maybe it's not. I'm not actually sure on that one. Hmm. Yep, we'll take that. Will we take it forever over Book of Sin? I kind of like the randomness of Book of Sin, and Guppy's head is just okay. So we'll pick it up for progress towards becoming Guppy, but then we'll leave it. Oh, that's reminding me. I was having a bit of a not a rant. I just mentioned something that I thought was really stupid on Twitter before recording this. The creation of a frame rate police Steam creator page by Total Biscuit so that he can brigade against PC games that dare to only have 30 frames rather than 60, which is beyond stupid and petty and really quite sad. And I wish he wouldn't exploit his position of power for doing such really, really stupid things. He's not much younger than me. He's a little bit younger. He is old enough to remember what gaming was like in the late 80s, early 90s, and he should be glad that 30 frames is even a thing, quite frankly. That's that's why I don't care. I, I agree that 60 frames looks better. Absolutely does. There is no denying that it looks better than 30. I can tell the difference. I know some people say they can't. Ooh, okay, that's just got interesting. But he he he, he almost uses it like it's a branding thing now that people expect him to whinge about a game not being 60 frames and it really drives me, it's why I can't watch any of his content. I, I find that he's just parodying himself now. That's what put me off ever watching, hey there we go, that's what put me off watching Zero Punctuation. I felt like he started to pander to his audience and thus was bad. 
Ben Coulshaw in that case, if you aren't aware of who he is. You have to be, and you have to watch out for that. Accidentally becoming a parody of yourself to please the majority of your audience. Hey, absolutely fighting for Common Cold. So just to reiterate, yes, 60 frames is better than 30 frames, and yes, I can tell the difference, and I agree that 60 frames is better. However, whinging about PC games, usually by companies who are not overly familiar with PC games and are trying to branch into a new market, brigading against them via stupidity like a curator page, which is actually just for recommendations, so that just defeats the point entirely anyway. And if you're bashing games for being 30 frames, you're actually just advertising them to a bigger audience. But let's avoid that being stupid. You're not giving them a chance for a really stupid reason. I agree that it would be nice if more console games were 60 frames, but I'd prefer that first they just concentrate on making a good game and then worry about how many frames it has later. You know, barring any huge technical difficulties. Someone just logged into my Steam so I can't see what that is. Is that Jero? Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. I might double up the battery just so I can get more stabs at uh, I'm Error Rune, but we'll see. This time I will remember that it's a Jera Rune and not a Perthro Rune. Maybe. I don't know if I really want to hold on to it all the way down to the chest when we're only like four floors deep. That's, that's a long way to hold on to a rune. That said, if we were to get blank card in the shop, ah. If we were to get blank card in the shop, would I get rid of Undefined? It's been a while since I broke the game with blank card Jera. It'd be quite fun. Undefined is different though, and it's weird. You know what I'd rather get than Undefined, which actually turns up fairly regularly? Missing No. I know I spoke about this recently, but I'd very much like to see Missing No again. No. So there's our item room and shop. I hate this room. I'm probably going to get hit because I'm slower than most of these guys. Gish, slow them. Defeat them. That was a terrible bomb. Let's try again. Ah, damn. Oh, wait, no, I got one. I got one. It's fine. Poison might keep him down. In fact, I killed him if I heard the sound effect that I think I did. Alright, we've got this now. Stay down. Before I start doing Undefined, I do want to fight the boss because I want to deal with the devil. Spoon Bender again. Alright. Now I really, really want. Brimstone. I'm not recording this on the same day as the last one, incidentally. Yeah, we'll take room for two cards. Absolutely. So what's the other card we got? Two of spades. Spades are keys. Well, if I desperately need keys, I can use it now to get two. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. So Spoonbender used to be a rare item for me again, although for whatever reason the current trend is whenever I say that an item is rare, it starts turning up every other run. I'm sure we'll see Shielded Tears at some point, because that's rare. Rare's in quotation marks, and then underlined, and then it's got a red cross through it for some reason. And there's our boss with a blood bank. I don't know if I can be bothered playing the blood bank. It's really bad, but I don't know. We'll see what drops from the boss and how much HP I trade away at a deal with the devil if I get one. Oh, it's a super fast moving Gurdy Jr. when I move real slow. However, little Gish could save me here if you just get the slow effect on it. Gish, though, if you just get the slow effect on it. Nope. Are you going to fire again instantly? No, you spawn fire, spawn fire. Yeah, there we go. Stay slowed. Ah! Also, I just realised how little damage we're doing. It is a champion, but even then, Gurdy Jr. is not that tanky compared to Gurdy. Yeah, you bounce like that all you want, just as long as you stay the hell away from me! Common Cold definitely is rare. Just to go back to that. It's not good enough for how rare it is, but I still enjoy it. Caffeine pill. Well, hang on, this will give me a tarot card, won't it? Because I took a starter deck. Yes. No, we know it did actually give me a pill. Is that how that works? No! I <laughs> see it transformed, that's what I thought. The lovers. Well, that's a couple of hearts, so sure, we'll, we'll do this a little bit. Okay. Well, I don't want IV bag, but there it is. So now we start... Well, go back for this first of all. Undefining, baby. 
Cancer Trinket is better than Samson's Lock, we'll take that. There was a battery in the shop if I remember correctly. There could also be a curse room somewhere on this floor. I'm not sure if I want to go looking for it. Damn. Well, we could go looking for it now in the hopes of generating another reroll. Uh, by which I mean undefined. We'll give it a go. There could potentially be... Oh, thank you, Placenta. Forgot I had that. There could potentially be six more rooms. It's incredibly unlikely. That said, a battery could just drop. So we'll have a look. I do want to see if there's a cursed room. Can't get the key down here because flying is required, yep. Yeah. I'll go back for that. You had to put the champion in front of me, didn't you? And this was the dead end down there. There might be a special room off of it, but it's very likely to be the only other room down there. So we're not going to get a charge that way. Wait, there's a battery on the map. Did I ignore that one because I didn't need it or because I couldn't get to it? So my luck seems to be quite high. That's what I thought. Oh, it's a double key room though. Well, we'll use two spades in order to get in here just to sate my curiosity. That re-rolls the floor, as in the floor of the room. Another two of hearts, and a bit of money and a bomb. That was not worth the cost of two keys in my opinion. But anyway, so I did leave a battery up here, can I get it? Oh! This room three times in a row, that's just bad luck. That's a shame. Alright, we're ready to go. Have you bagged? No thank you. Dark floors? No thank you. No deal with the devil is a bit of a shame, but that's okay. We don't need it yet. Damage isn't exactly great though. We'll be able to get in there. Okay, so we've got a blood bank in here. We'll need to... Is this the second or third curse in a row? I think we had no map, darkness, no map, right? You son of a bitch. Not having good luck with the curses, so... Black Candle would be very nice. Must remember, haven't been to item room, haven't been to shop. I think if Blank Card does appear in the shop, I will take it over on the find, just because there's so much I can do with Jarrah. Not, not even just in the chest, on the way! You can still do a lot of fun stuff with Blank Card Jarrah. So it gives us a huge number of opportunities just to piss around. Another one of you twats. So that'll be our shop unless it's a library. Hmm, if we go full tanky, maybe taking Child Tower would be a good idea, but Cancer Trinket DPS is so high now. No. Oh. Normally this would be a pill, but because of Starter Deck, it's now an Awaz rune. Uh, hang on, I want to kind of like, I want to, I want to grab it, but I still want to be able to grab my card back. There we are. Didn't give us a crawl space. That's fine. Two hearts could be valuable given how many red hearts we have. It doubles the current number of red hearts we have, in case you aren't aware. So how many do I have as I get hit? As a result, of trying to keep my HP. Two, four, six, seven. So use it at about three, three and a half, ideally. But that might not happen depending on what hits me. Hopefully it won't come to that but it's good to know. So we still need a key but we have seen our shop. Haven't seen our item room yet. There's a key. Do I hold on for the item room? Which apparently is not here. I'll have a look in the shop because I want to know if blank card is in there. Bollocks. Well, we're getting neither a load of money or steam sale. Which is essentially money. Time release money, I suppose. Bastard. You're gonna get yourself killed like that. We got steam cell. Good. And a bomb. Was that worth the key? Uh, maybe. Still need to get another one though to get our item room. Right, so if I'm desperate I can get a battery for some damage there. I didn't see you. There's a key. Good. Mysterious candy? Absolutely not. Would you like some champions with your champions? I don't even have champions built, which I also haven't seen for quite a while. Yeah, we're definitely not doing a lot of damage. Even with the high DPS as a result of the Cancer Trinket and the, the poison from Common Cold, our damage isn't very good anymore. We, we need to work on it. Got a few bombs. I could put like a bomb there, maybe get a Magic Mushroom. 
Um, it's one of those rare situations where no, I'm, I'm not taking Liberty Cap. Oh yeah, of course. We won't be getting any pills from mushrooms because I have starter deck. Now we found our boss. Good result there. I want to go find the item room first because we've already taken red heart damage anyway, I think. So I'd rather just do it because I'll forget otherwise. Now there wasn't a door up there. Oh. Hmm. Over here? Maybe? Just clear away the... What hit me there? Oh, he split into bullets, of course. Judgment. We'll just use. We get a normal beggar. We've been to the shop. We know we're not going to use the money on this floor. We'll try and get a payout. If it's just red health, that's fine. I would prefer the compass or map, even though right now it's obviously not going to be any good to us. I could also kill him just to try and improve my chances of a deal with the devil. Hmm. Do I want to kill you, little man? Hello, little man. I will destroy you! I may have to if he takes all this money and doesn't pay out. Ah! Blue map. Eh... You can sort of use that to your advantage because the second room, second secret room rather, is often but not always. Oh, it's not up here either. Next to the boss. So with that information, you can kind of divine where to go, but it's not always right next to the boss because sometimes the rules don't apply for whatever reason. I'm going to open this gold chest because I don't care. Got my key back. Here. Well, I got one key back. There's the item room. Excellent. And our good range should make short work of this room. And there was placenta kicking in again. Must remember that I have that because maybe I don't need to go spare hearts in this run. Is this the second run in a row where I've went into night room and it's monster manual? And <laughs> it gave me a cube of meat, you son of a bitch. It's only for the room if you aren't aware. <sighs> Alright, boss time and then undefined time. Hmm. Nope, can't get that. So this is depths uh, by which I mean caves too. So we've got two more shops, two more chances at blank card, and we have steam sale. Okay, it's promising. And there is that battery there if I'm willing to take a heart of damage to get it. Which I might be. Alright, who we got? The Fallen! Always a very nice boss to find. We're going to get a free deal with the Devil Pool item. Although it could just be Headless Baby, but let's not dwell on that. Could be something better, could be Rotten Baby. Thank you again, Placenta. It's throwing me off when one of them is slowed and the other one isn't. Wait, this one here should be almost dead. Why are you not dead? This one here should be dead. There we are. Good God. Most of the health bar was him, apparently. We got the nail. No proper deal with the devil. I don't want the nail. Aha! See what I mean? That is not a usual place for the second secret room. Alright, we got an I'm error room with homing bombs in them and a bunch of money. I am error. Let's go! So, Necropolis 1, as expected. No damage to speak of. Oh damn, it's an XL! We only have one more shop. We have two item rooms to go on. Two on this floor. And I don't want to get an Nightmare room because otherwise I will accidentally go to show. Although it hasn't... I mean, rather, it has been a long time since I've done that. But it would stop at show unless I got the negative. Safety cap. That would actually increase my number of tarot cards, right? Because I have starter deck. I'd rather have the Cancer Trinket though, unless I get room for two, in which case I will go back for it. Yeah, we can barely kill one of these in the time it takes it to fire, that means we're doing bad damage for where we are. Real bad. Oh, there's a tin drop right there, so if I put that there, it should get them both. Catch me, catch me! I don't like this room at all. I didn't see that fly because the light is shining in the top left of my corner of my window. Damn it. By which I mean monitor. 
Yes, I should probably close the curtains while I'm playing a, a game that can be dark on occasion, but I don't want to, like, live in a cave. And have my room dark all through the night. A uh, day, rather. All through the night would be fine. Oh, you had to be one of the regenerating health kinds, didn't you? Good God. Alright, he's dead. He didn't actually turn into a regenerating pile for some reason. Now, the boss is obviously some... well, not obviously, again, Blue Map might be lying to us thanks to the placement of the second secret room being a bit off. It seems like the bosses will be up in the top right, so I'm checking to the left because it feels like the game will want to screw me and put the item rooms over here anyway. That last shop is going to be important. I want black candle and blank card. Or blank card, sharp plug. That combination. It needs to be the combination though. Could you just push yourself onto the spikes a little bit? There we go. That's the sweet spot. And again. That was a fantastic payout for a regular chest. Curse room, we will just go in it now. After I kill this fire. I will end this fire's life. We had our experiment paid for. Whatever. We got some flies to waste on the ghost. Yeah. So this was a dead end down to a curse room. The one of the item rooms could still be up here and to the left. Nope, it's just more spiders. Which skirted past me because they cheat. That's the only reason I'm still holding on to this Two of Hearts card, because it might come down to it that I need it. We need more damage. Actual damage, not DPS or anything like that. Just good old fashioned... G give me Brimstone because I have Spoonbender. I want to have a wavy beam that goes across the ceiling. And like does quadruple flips and corkscrews to catch all the enemies in one blast. Yeah, steer it into his shot, that's the smart thing to do. Tower. Um, we could get some value out of that, but I'm not replacing two of hearts. I'm not re uh, replacing Jera. Absolutely not. Oh yeah, can't kill those. Oh, I think I have seen this room layout before. It is ringing a bell, but at the same time, it's very, very rare. Is there another beam one on the far end of the room? I hope not, because I think it would have fired by now if there was. Oh no, there totally is. Son of a bitch. That's not very fair. Well, we're still not taking red heart damage, so it's okay. Relatively speaking for a necropolis, this is actually a very easy room. That's helpful, thank you. Alright, let's keep on going to the right then. Oh, ghost. No, oh, there you are. Oh, ghost again. Yeah, whatever. Ghost again. Oh, for God's sake. Hmm. I suppose I should use the moon card and then just come back for the two parts. You're up here. Okay. Good to know the batteries here. The Emperor! I think that teleports you to Mom, doesn't it? So you skip the other boss and can't get out. Why would I fight the champion first? You work up to the final boss. That's a beam one there. Oh, no it's not. That's okay. That's not as okay, but at least it'll kill most of them. Apart from the champion. Oh, should have went back. I will do it. I want to go back because I need my card. My two of hearts. I, sadly, I may need it. Like, genuinely. With placenta, that might not be the case, but our damage isn't getting better and we're into the double damage floors almost, so we need to start worrying a little bit. 
DPS, our fire rate is the only thing keeping us in this so far. I was worried at the end there that wasn't quite close enough. Pretty good payouts. Misplaced that for some reason. Okay, good results. We won't bother with the Emperor card. We will bother with this. Alright. If the last shop is greed, or super greed as the case may be, I'm going to be very annoyed. Yeah, physics, how do they work? Clearly, Nicholas aren't aware. Also, give me my goddamn item rooms and shop. I've had enough. I want damage in some form in one of those things. And then I deal with the devil with Brimstone. Just so I can enjoy the latter half of the game. Sure. A bit late, but still greatly appreciated, I suppose. Oh, yeah, homie bombs. Handy sometimes. Other times, not as much. Alright, so there's our bosses. They are separated from the second secret room. We found one of our item rooms, but not the shop. I just got penned in there. Alright, let's see what awaits us in our item room. Dead bloody bird. We'll fight the first boss since we're here. Adversary, ugh. This is only one of you, but our damage is not very good. If I found the the trick to beating single adversary, it's just to stay super close to him. Against two, this wouldn't work because you'd always be far away from one of them. It feels like his lock-on bullshit doesn't work as well when you're next to him. It gives you time to dodge. There's a spider in here somewhere and I can't see it. Yeah, staying close to him, that's the trick. But again, against two of them, that will not work. Get poisoned, get slowed, get fucked. He drops just normal boss pull, right? It's been a long time since I fought the adversary as a boss outside of the chest. Good. That's okay. It's more DPS. I would have preferred just straight up damage, but it's more DPS. Look at that. That is a good fire rate. Give me shielded tears and the latter half of the game's bosses will become jokes with fire rate like this. So up by the second secret room. That must be where the shop and the... Ooh, absolutely. We're getting these gold chests for the cost of two bombs and that's it. Thanks to having the golden key. Alright, well, we're getting a deal with the devil for sure now. Well, no, it could be a deal with the angel. We're getting something when we kill the boss for sure. There's our shop. Don't be greed. PhD is fine. It's a shame the blank card hasn't appeared. Oh, wait, no, PhD isn't fine because I took starter deck. So, hang on, does Bottle of Pills just give you tarot cards then? Oh, it does! I kind of like that. It's been a little while since I put some money back in my donation machine, so let's do that. I'll go down to 15 unless it breaks before that. Actually, let's make it a yeah, 960 on the dot. Alright, we'll go to our second secret room since we know for a fact it's there. We're just going to blow it up. By which I mean play it once back and then blow it up. Spirit Heart and a penny for the cost of one bomb is a fair deal. I forgot actually we could have technically teleported to Mom and Fodder because I could undefine after fighting. Oh wait no, does that not force you? No, no, that would have worked. Yeah, I've done that before. As long as I've picked up either the Polaroid or the negative, then undefined. It doesn't really matter if I get it straight away. You wouldn't necessarily get back out to explore the floor, but you would still be okay for game progression. Fear this fire rate! <sighs> oh, 
Oh, I have no bombs. Alright, we are ready as we're ever going to be for Mom. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the arse fight. Our damage is not very good. Our DPS is great. Damage not so much. And it looks like the only value we're going to get out of the Jericard at this point is getting eight chests on the chest rather than four. Which is fine. Alright, it's the hardest version of Mom, typically. Oh, yeah, I misjudged my damage so much I thought he'd be dead by the time I moved. Hey, but at least now we've got Dead Bird doing damage for us! Didn't even see that one. There is a very real chance of us losing... I was above that. That most definitely did not catch me. There's a very real chance of us losing the turn heart. Doesn't really matter. Our health's high enough as it is, it's just going to worry about being empty containers. That's the actual problem. Against Champion 1 we were never going to get through it without taking damage. With this damage that we have. Start cheesing it, make her spit out the hand. I'm never sure where you stand because I don't like doing it. Kind of like here-ish. No? Something? I don't want to get into the habit of resorting to being mom using the, the exploit. We'll do it the hard way. Yeah, that didn't make any sense, but whatever. Is there any tinted rocks in here I could get her to crush? Uh, no. We know for a fact we're getting a deal of some kind after this anyway, thanks to getting Ghost Head. A bit late in the game, but that's okay. Just give me Brimstone, and all is forgiven, because that'll be fun as hell. It's a bit of a mom fight that I never hear, because the fight never usually goes on this long. This is like a Maggie run. It's not, no, it's not as bad as that, I take that back. With fire rate this fast, it's not as bad as a Maggie run. It's close, though. I think Greedhead just wants to stay over there, that's fine, I'll stay over here. Oh, so you spawn another one closer. Bitch. Foot? At all? Remember that foot that you occasionally drop on me? Yeah, uh, okay, when I don't look at it, that's fine. And you're gonna die. We did get a deal with the devil. Krampus. Nope, but almost as bad. Not taking it. Don't want it. Oh wait, no, but I have to to keep up the... Ah, oh, fuck. I hate Headless Baby. And we'll undefine. Did I leave any other batteries on the floor? Was there one in the shop? I want to say that there was. Oops. Oh, golden key anyway, so... No loss. I think I left one in the shop. Yep. Damn. Well, I tried. Three teleporters didn't get any. Alright, then we go. Double damage fun time with barely any damage of our own. Just high DPS. So, boss probably this way. Somewhere. Yeah, thanks for that. A dime at this late stage in the game? I'll find many uses for that! Oh. Hey, this baby's creep can barely even kill one of them. Oh, don't like this room at all. Partly because I can't see a damn thing, but also just because there's a lot of those fast moving whatever the hell they are. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I'm not entirely sure why you barked there, Maya. <laughs> Something's pissed her off. Hopefully this is the right way. Hey, we got a boss with very, very low HP. I'm happy about that. Beware the spiders. Boss? No, it still could be. No idea why it made there. I think there was a little spider. Oh, is that a tenant rock? No, it's not. Hmm, maybe the boss is... Oh, bloody homing bombs! Good job, I've still got one more. I 
Devil. It's a good card. Star's card is just a teleport. Because I'm getting hit a lot, I'll keep two of hearts because I may need it. Now keep in mind, the reason I'm not undefining straight away, even though it won't really affect progress, is because I want the final deal with the Devil. And we are going to get it, thanks to Goat's Head. And I want it to have Brimstone in it. That would be lovely. It wouldn't make me OP, my damage still wouldn't be that great. It would just be really fun to watch the beams twist around the screen. I can't actually see the Loki on the left hand side of the screen. I know he's there, but I can't see him. Oh damn, they must have heard me! They're both on the left! I mean, the right side of my screen is where I can't see anything. Wink. Bender, you said wink! No, I didn't raise middle finger. Damn. Also, I think it was wink wink, not wink. It's been a little while. Goodbye, Loki. Get to spawn one more fly before you die. Eh? Blood Clot is more damage every other shot. Gimpy. Well, why not? Why not indeed? Down to the next floor. No Curse of the Darkness, please, because that's bloody annoying. And we have, what, 5 HP? So after 3 hits, use. Or 2.5, but that's impossible. Use two of hearts. So, second secret room is up there. I still bet you have to go down through this room though. Ah, maybe not. Oh god. This room is terrible. And it's also very, very common. I'm amazed I haven't been hit once yet. It'll happen though. Because they teleport behind you and cut you off. We have... wait, no. We don't have many much. We don't have Liberty Cap. Why am I suddenly smaller and faster for this room? Or am I only just realising now? I mean, we've got Caffeine Pill, so I know that made us skinnier. It just feels like we're faster in this room than we were on the last floor, that's all. Two hearts being on... well, four! Four hearts being on the same floor. It's pretty good. So if we get hit a lot, go back to that room rather than use up the two of hearts there. There's nothing that drops creep in this room. The creep is mine. Ah, we can get in that boss trap room thanks to the secret room. It's not too late to get small rock to help with damage. So keep an eye out for tinted rocks now that you can actually see the floor. There's none in here. You haven't spawned enough flies. Spawn more flies. We are killing them faster. Blood Clot is actually helping thanks to our fire rate. We're firing up a fair frequency of the powered up shots. That's going to pay for this little excursion, which is good because I didn't actually have any bombs. Alright, well, it's not very good, but it's okay. Give me a black heart. Hmm. I can't use Undefined on this floor because it will send me down to Shoal. I'll do this. It was not worth it. It's a shame. Our fire rate's going to make short work of Fistula, though. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. Ah, oh, damn, one and touch the back wall. That means I instantly lose. Almost did it without one of them touching it. I think only one did. Kind of chuffed about that. We've got quite the barrage going here. I just wish it wasn't crappy damage. I was hoping for Cricket's head there to make a big difference. Small rock would make a big difference as well. Maybe I should have taken that devil card to speed up the mom fight because it's going to be quite tough with this damage. I foresee taking quite a few hits. I have to hold on though. I must use my... oh that helps. I must use my Jetta card on the chest. I didn't see the creep. I'm heading in entirely the wrong direction now. It doesn't mean the boss isn't here. Was that spirit heart always there or did that just kind of appear out of nowhere? That's a bit weird. 
Yeah, I am going entirely the wrong direction. Well, at least I know now. So that must mean that the second secret room is accurate for this floor and the boss is indeed on the top left and I should have trusted my initial instincts with what, which was rather go up and left but I was so sure that the big room was going to be blocking progress that's why I went into it straight away. I see we're at 42 minutes, wow we are, it is just it's a slow run because we have no damage. No. Easy room. This is the kind of room I can get by and give me more of this. Not a version with the guys who jumped them, because that would be nightmarish. That would be top tier difficulty. Alright, we'll, we'll take the bait. This is going to link, link into the second secret room, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, just stay on the creep that you can't see after you know it was there. That's a smart thing to do. I really hate this stupid filter on this stage. It is terrible. And all they need to do is, you know, like the folk who make Nuclear Throne, they like Screen Shake even though most of the people who play it don't and I am with them, I think it's crap. So they added the option to remove it. They keep it on by default but the, the option is there to remove it. If Nicholas is proud of this god awful effect that makes it basically impossible to see creep on the floor sometimes, just add the option for those who disagree so that we don't need to put up with the bullshit. That's all you need to do. Vision. Yeah, well, there we go. Oh, that's a very strange floor layout. We'll keep two of hearts. We'll fight the mini boss just because. It's envy. We're not going to get anything good here, that's a shame. I was hoping for Sloth for maybe a better tarot card. I would consider taking an Emperor card over two of hearts just to get to Isaac instantly on the Cathedral, but it would really depend on what my health's like when we get there. Right now there's no need to use it unless I take way too many hits against it lives because there's so many hearts I've left on the floor. There's four in that one room that I, the one big room I did. So it's just a case of not being lazy and going back if I need the heals. Yeah, we wasted our time there. There's quite a few more rooms I have, have to clear. I hate that room. Yeah, just, just fuck off and die. Thank you. Oh wow. Nasty room. Why did I go after the champion first? I don't know, okay? We got through it though. We're getting through it. We got we got through it. Oh, that's a nasty room as well, just because they instantly stretch their necks out. And the next pass they would hit me. Keep that in mind. We've got a tarot card. The tarot card is Temperance. Um, I could blow it up for the hope of some hearts. So I will. Instead we got a bunch of pointless money. Thank you Placenta. Keeping me at a half heart as well which is handy. Well, until it kicks in again in about another couple of minutes. Although I think you have to be in a room of combat for it to happen. I can't quite remember how Placenta works. Blast assist is guarding it lives. <laughs> what is with all these heart pairs? It's almost as if I did take Isaac's heart. Does Placenta have a passive red heart drop rate up? Because we haven't had any luck up, so it's not that. We're getting a ridiculous amount of red heart drops, and it's been like that for a while, so some item we've taken that has influenced that. PhD? Does that have a passive passive of doing that? Something we've taken is giving us more red heart drops and it's not luck related because our luck is still base, it's garbage. I was hoping the poison would finish that one off and I was correct. I'm not sure why I'm there but that's okay. Oh, was that Gimpy that paid? No, that was the enemy paying it. Yeah, something we've taken is giving us more red hearts. My bet is that it's placenta. Could be blood clot. I didn't actually see you spawn that enemy up there, you bitch. Spawning chub, that's early, isn't it? Had to use it to apart, sadly. That's very, very disappointing. Yeah, there's no enemies. Yeah, there we are. Dead bird's gonna fuck up your day. 
with his amazing damage. What do you mean dead bird doesn't do amazing damage? I was lied to! It's gonna get the kill. Yeah, okay. I left a tarot card on the floor, right? Ideally, I want to be a half art. Whoops. <laughs> I did. I left some tarot card. I think it was Wheel of Fortune, and you might think, well, why bother going back for Wheel of Fortune? Well, assuming I make it to the chest, it's a free item. Magician, no. Wheel of Fortune, maybe. High Priestess. High Priestess works on Isaac, right? I'm going to have to take that. Just for the desperate bit of damage it will avail me when I get Isaac to second form, if I make it to him. Which is looking a little bit spotty right now. Although with this this weird massive increase in number of red heart drops, maybe not. I guess we'll find out. Let me up, please. Thank you. Also, is it just me or did more than just the Devil Deal or Deal Door change orientation there? Over on the left. Okay. Yes, we will do this. We have the keys to spare. Not worth it, although the heart might come in handy. Oh yeah, undefined on the chest. Uh, no, undefined on the cathedral. How does that work again? Thank you, Gimpy, for covering that damage. Do I want to be undefining? It could actually put me closer to the boss. I can't remember if it forces me to do another cathedral or if it craps out and puts me somewhere I shouldn't be. Our second steam sale, because logic. We'll go to the proper secret room first. In which we waste our time with a bunch of money. And then we teleport right back to it. Well, whatever. I think I've used Undefined on the Cathedral before. And had it, I am Aramie, but I can't remember where it puts you. I want to say you just have to do another Cathedral, but I honestly can't remember. This is terrible because I don't have any bombs to clear out the rocks in the way. Just get Death off his horse. That's all I can hope for. Dead bird, mess him up. No, not, not over the rocks though. Don't push him onto the rocks. He is not a ship lost at sea. Got a red heart from one of the scythes dying there. That is unheard of. Yeah, get poisoned. You're poisoned again. You will eventually die to the poison damage, oh yes. It might actually be the horse killing them, I'm not entirely sure. I guess the horse died? I suppose I shouldn't take any chances and go back for the heart. I would like to play him, but I'm worried about taking damage. Alright, just don't overthink it and then you get in. That could be important. A joker card would be very fun. Two of spades. Spades is keys, that's fine. It means we could do a lot of repeat chests with Undefined. We're not exactly strong enough to warrant that yet, but that could change. Now ideally I want one of War's bombs to appear here, so I'm kind of going to stand here until he summons them. Alright, that should knock one into it. Hey, okay. And then Isaac is hopefully just up here. And we're going to use the High Priestess on his second form to try and get out of the second form as fast as possible. Ideally, before he spawns an angel feet, he sees to avoid the foot dropping on them rather than him. Although they're so close to him, it should still catch him as well. War, thankfully, is not an issue. Alright, it's one more hit. Yeah, Alright, there's Isaac. Two champion widows guarding him and I just walked into the shot because I was moving too fast for my own good. Thanks, Roid Rage. Wait, was it Roid Rage? Which syringe did we get? I can't remember now. Either way, whichever one it was, it did speed and range. I get the names mixed up, all I see is the colours. Alright, we want to slow him as much as possible as well, so little Gish, this is all on you. I do the thing barely called damage. You do the slow effect. Right, second form will be happening in about 10% more HP. Change. 
Good God, that did barely anything. We should still get him to final form fairly quickly. Get to final form, alright. Now any damage will probably just be on me, although he will come after us rather than going straight to another teleport. Yeah, there he comes. Why was that shot not slowed, the one that almost hit me there? Because he was still slowed. That was just terrible. Isaac Final Form is not something you should be dying to. It would help if I was doing enough damage so that he would just go from one teleport to the next, but that's okay. Teleport. Just hold out to the chest, we get eight of them. Eight chances for getting something good. I mean, we can't get Brimstone because it's still the devil. Son of a bitch. Thank you, Gimpy, for covering that. It's not quite going to die here. I think it'll have to be the next pass. Oh no, oh no, it could be this. You just had to get one more cheap, shitty little shot in, didn't you, before dying. Alright, eight chests on the chest. They have to be good. Curse of the Unknown. We don't know our HP. How many hits did I have left in me? Oh, well, so far pretty shitty. Oh, never mind. So we have Mom's Knife, so from a damage perspective we're now sorted. HP wise we're still a little bit dodgy, but I might still undefine for fun. Pinky Shears is okay. Stunning Bible, it won't charge fast enough to save me if I am going to die from just getting hit sillily. Oh wait, we have a Psychic Knife, right. Um, not sure about that one because I can't decide which enemy it's going after. Yeah, it's it's a little off. And there goes Satanic Bible's charge, but that's okay. So I think we have like three hits left in us. Scapular could save us. Yeah, I'm not sure about the Psychic Knives. Well, if I had more than one of them. Which creep is mine? I'm surprised we aren't dead right there, actually. I think missing page saved me? Oh, well, this helps. Oh, good. After fighting two of them, now I need to fight three, except my damage is a little bit better this time. I don't like Spoonbender Mom's Knife, though. <laughs> that goes on my list of effects I don't like. So we're next to both secret rooms. I don't know if the boss is going to be around here or not. And I would just go for the boss if I found it because I'm worried. That said, if I get an undefined charge, I will use it. Because I don't like Psychic Knife. Hell, even Ludovico Mom's Knife is better than this, I think. I, I can't control it. It goes where it wants. It's an unruly teenager of a knife. So this was not the right way at all. Oh wait, yes it was. It, it does kind of linger on targets a bit more, but I don't get to pick the target. And that's the bad, but look at that! Thanks to deciding what target to go after there, I hit nothing. Psychic knife, please. And that's please with a PLS and a Z, and then a capital Z. I think I should probably just go for the win here, because my HP isn't in a good position and I don't really have a good tier effect. Look at that, even Mom's Knife can't compensate for the, the kind of piss poor selection of items we had to this point. Items. It is lingering on him long enough to do damage when he's alone. <laughs> when there's other enemies, however, things go a bit weird. Must remember I have homing Mr. Mega. They're probably doing more damage, to be honest. Yeah, they are. Goodbye, Blue Baby. I'm just going to cut and run because this run was very difficult and quite annoying. I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and as we come up to an hour on the dot almost, Jesus. Thank you, seriously, for watching and lasting this long. I'll see you next time. Ta-ta, for now.